Hey y'all, Patrick here. Hope y'all are doing fantastic. And today I wanted to talk about something that's pretty near and dear to probably a majority of bass players, and that is bass amps. Whether big or small, we all started somewhere with a bass amp. Whether it was a small little practice amp that you then upgraded to a small combo amp, or maybe hell, you went ahead and got that head and cabinet combo where that cabinet was maybe a 210, then you upgraded it to a 212, maybe then turn into a 410, or even had the most infamous fridge, the Ampeg 810 too. And there have been so many different kinds of amps, different brands of amps, and now a lot of things are moving to pretty much digital only. And that includes things like this really rad Zoom, what is it, B14, as well as the Line 6 HX Stomp, or even something as crazy and overkill and awesome as the Neural DSP Quad Cortex. There's something really beautiful about just plugging into an actual physical bass amp and having that sound come at you and feeling every single note that you play just really have that humongous feeling that you're looking for that really made you fall in love with bass in the first place. And for the different amps and cabs that I own and I'll be playing through today, starting off we have the Dark Glass Exponent as well as the Dark Glass Microtubes 500 V2 as well as the Ashdown ABM 300. All three of these heads sound so good, so loud, and they all sort of have a different niche about them. And I can definitely say the same thing about these cabinets too. Starting with the GK CX210, then I also have the Ashdown ABM 115H, as well as the Dark Glass DG212N. And while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and give a humongous thank you to today's sponsor, Sweetwater. They went ahead and sent me this really awesome sounding instrument microphone, the Audio Technica ATM250 as well as the Gator Frameworks tripod mic stand too. Uh, I gotta say, this is really cool and a great setup, and it's something that's super easy. So thank you again so much, Sweetwater, for sponsoring today's video. Like I've mentioned earlier, digital sort of taken over in a lot of aspects from traditional bass amps. Now, I think the first time I really got into digital like amp modeling was when I got my first Line 6, was it Pod UX2? And that was the first time that I really realized that, man, I could get really good bass tones without having to mic up a bass amp or have it be super loud and everything like that. And it was a lot of fun for a lot of years too. But there's just something, I don't know what it is, that when you just plug into a physical bass amp and you just let it roar, God, it's just so awesome. Now, I personally have nothing against digital bass amps. Hell, the main tone I usually use is the combination between the Neural DSP Corey Wong plugin as well as the Ampeg SVT Suite plugin. It's just something that works super well together and I've just always really liked the sound I've gotten out of it too. And this video also isn't me just trying to say, ah, we gotta bring back physical bass amps because I don't think physical bass amps are gonna be going anywhere. It's something that's always gonna be there no matter what. As long as there's bass players, there's always gonna be bass amps. And I feel that's tried and true no matter what.
think the whole point I'm trying to make with this video is that I just want to give a humongous thank you to Base Amps and the people that make Base Amps. No matter where you are, no matter what brand it is or anything like that, Base Amps are great and they've had a fundamental change in my life personally for the better. It's something that really helped me get that tone that was in my head for so long out and really helped me fall in love more with bass over the decade plus that I've been playing. So whether your bass amp sound is coming from something completely digital or you have something that's completely analog and tube driven, that's awesome. All that matters is that you're playing bass and having fun with it along the way. I guess what I'm just gonna end this off with is at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you play, but there's nothing better than that feeling of your tone and playing coming through those speakers and vibrating everything where you can truly feel that power of your own playing. It's something that's magical. It's something that will never go away as long as you have a physical bass amp or just a really good set of speakers too. But y'all, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I truly do appreciate it. And let me know in the comments below what y'all's first bass rig was what your favorite bass rig is, and what like best sound that you got out of any bass amp. I would love to hear what different amps and amp types that y'all have played through. But y'all, thank you so much again for watching, as always, for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. For commenting, for sharing my videos, for following me on social media, I truly do appreciate every single thing y'all do. And of course, a humongous thank you to my beautiful Patreon supporters right here. Mwah, mwah. You know that someone once commented that the air kisses I give my Patreon supporters is like the weirdest thing that that person's ever seen? And all I can think of is just like, that's the weirdest thing? That's the weirdest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> but a humongous shout out to each of these gorgeous individuals for supporting the channel. And if you wanna go ahead and support the channel and be included in some other really cool things as well, go ahead and head on over to my Patreon page. But one final time for this video, thank y'all again so much for watching. And of course, no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that bass, go to your local music store and play through a bass amp and just see and feel it. Ah, it's the greatest feeling ever. And I'll see y'all next time.